Good morning, home builders. It is day 20, and today is called the necessity of correction. Hebrews 12, 5 through 8 says, And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, God deal with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Um, here, um, the Word of God is specifically talking about the chastening of the Lord to us, but he's comparing it to how a any regular father would, would chasten his son. Um, it's as if this is just assumed. Like, this is a very basic thing. I think it's something that is... Um, and they say that humans don't have instincts, that animals have instincts, but it's almost like an instinct. It's something that's like wired in here. And the word of God is kind of referring it um, to it in that way. It's using the assumption that we already know that we have to chasten our children um, in order to explain why the Lord chastens us. So as we get back to the basics, we have to, um, we have to remind ourselves that we need to chasten our children. Um, this is one of the core responsibilities that we have, and um, God disciplines every true believer. Um, you know, He knows when we need it, and He gives it to us, and He knows exactly what we need, and, and He gives us that discipline. He does it for our own good, just like we do our own children. The problem is that some out there, and this is becoming more and more and more and more prevalent to the point where it is almost becoming, I think it is becoming the rule, that some will say um, that they love their children so much that they won't discipline their children. Some will say, we want to, our children to explore and experience life and make their own decisions. Huh? These people are trusting a three, four, five-year-old, even two-year-old um, teenager. What you know to to, to re- set out their their own path without any uh, guidance and correction and discipline from their parents. These people are crazy, but that's what they do, and that's what the world says. Um, that's that's really it's a selfish thing, you know. There's the 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 old cliche phrase. Son, this is going to hurt me more than it hurts you. Well, there's a lot of truth to that. And what it causes us to do is to want to uh, hold back on disciplining because of what it does to us. That is selfish. Absolutely, that is selfish. Um, and you know, it, it robs our children the opportunity to learn, like it, like it says in the book. Um, it, um, it, to learn that you know, obedience to, you know, rules, guidelines, or fences that we put up, they're put there for a reason. And they, uh, they will result in good results. Um, God loves us enough that we are disciplined. We should do the same with our own children. One thing to consider is, a couple things to consider is, um, and I, don't, I haven't read through the book. I, I don't know if this will be covered. I'm, you know, probably will. We need to be careful to not have rules just for the sake of having rules. We, we, need, to, we need to make sure that there's a reason for them. Um, and that reason um, needs to not simply be just because that's the way it's always been done or, or just because like, we need to really consider um, thoughtfully what our rules are and um, in the discipline that we give for breaking those rules. Um, because just I, I don't understand why we wouldn't do that. Um, that's just not logical to me. Um, and when you have rules just for the sake of, of rules, and, and even when you couple that with discipline, if there's not any logic behind it, and our children, they're smart enough, if they can't see the reasoning why we put that rule in place and why we put the discipline in place um, when that rule is broken, it will do absolutely nothing but foster rebellion. And that's the last thing that we want. Um, 
The, um, the other thing is obviously there, there's an extreme to this um, that goes to a very dark place that we don't want to go. Um, if, if our children, if they experience discipline and it doesn't have to be exactly at the same time, but overall, if they don't see um, the, the love that we have for them in doing that due to the fact that all they see all the time is constant, 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 nothing but discipline, then I don't know that we can really call it discipline. And it's not going to be effective and it's not going to produce the positive results that are intended from it. We need to make sure it doesn't affect our own heart and our own mind um, as we're in the process of doing this. We need to consistently remind ourselves the purpose for this um, and, and consistently back up the discipline with um, love and care that a parent should have for his or her children. Um, that's important as well. I think that if we do those things coupled together, then we're gonna have much better results. Um, love you all, and uh, today's Friday, so I'll see you in a couple days in Sunday school, and look forward to seeing you then. Have a great day.